Hi, this is DID. The 101st Airborne Division is a light infantry division of the U.S. Army that specializes in air assault operations. It was first constituted as an airborne unit in 1942. During World War II, it gained renown for its role in Operation Overlord, Operation Market Garden, the liberation of the Netherlands, and the siege of Bastogne. Early morning of June 6, 1944. 6,000 paratroopers arrived over France and were ready to secure the four causeway exits behind Utah Beach. However, they encountered severe fire from German anti-aircraft guns. The transport aircraft scattered paratroopers around to avoid the fire, resulting in heavy casualties. Despite this, the 101st Airborne Division still completed the mission. For those who missed Ryan, we bring him to you again. And there are two editions for your choice, the standard one and the deluxe one. Let's take a look at what has been included and how to assemble him. First, let's take a look at the standard edition. Compact box packaging are adopted, although the volume is reduced by half, the backdrop and instructions are still included. You can scan the QR code to watch the instructions. Ryan looks serious with deep frown. He wears the classic M4 to paratrooper uniform and trousers. The design of multiple wide pockets on the uniform, the strengthening treatment at the elbows and the creases on the back are according to the real thing. Brown jump boots are essential for paratroopers as it wraps the entire foot and can increase the cushioning when landing. The boots made of genuine leather, the 101st Airborne Division patch and the Private First Class rank badges are also essential for Ryan. Helmet tickles are used to mark the team to which they belong, and black tape is used to secure the end of the suspenders. There are two palms for Ryan, the relaxed palms and the gun holding palms. M1C helmet is equipped with the A-shaped woven belt with buckle on both sides and a real leather chin pad which effectively enhance the solidity of the helmet to avoid accidental trauma during airborne operations. Ryan used the M1936 belt, M1936 suspenders and M1936 musette bag for carrying. He is also equipped with 5 storage bags and foldable shovel. There were also metal M1910 canteen with cup. Watches and dog tags with details such as name, service number, tetanus inoculation date and blood type. The M1 Garand rifle was the primary infantry weapon of the U.S. Army during World War II. It was recognized as the best rifle of the Second World War since it is reliable, accurate and easy to disassemble and clean. The M1 Garand rifle that Ryan carries is made of metal and wood with five clips. Also Ryan is equipped with a metal bayonet and an M3 fighting knife. Coupled with two grenades, Ryan has a powerful combat capability. He also comes with a World War II US Airborne Paratrooper American Flag Invasion Armband. Now it is time to open the Deluxe Edition. In addition to all the equipments of the Standard Edition, the following weapons and accessories are added in the Deluxe Edition. A TL-1-2 flashlight that can be turned on. and exchangeable with different color lens. The M7 rifle grenade launcher is 22mm long, mounted on the M1 Garand rifle. With the M9A1 rifle grenade, it can provide a powerful anti-tank capability. The all-metal M1A1 rocket launcher, commonly known as the bazooka, is a man-portable recoilless anti-tank weapon owned by the U.S. Army. 
It is widely deployed in paratrooper companies as it is powerful and easy to carry. Everything is ready, let's assemble the figure. It's been 8 years since the first Ryan was released. The material of the uniform and jump boots is fully upgraded. The deluxe edition even has the flashlight that can be turned on. And the brand new M7 rifle grenade launcher and M9A1 rifle grenades. The bazooka is made of all metal. The US Rangers team members are waiting for him. Please do not miss out of him again. If you like our action figure or video, please subscribe our YouTube channel for more info about the latest products. Thank you for your support. See you next time.